I'm always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Now, this is the best. I, I like this card. There's no doubt. I'm going to read it again today. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. Doing your best means take action on your ideas. You can have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there are no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? And don't worry about basically falling down, folks. This is a great card, man. Do a million different things, okay? You know, Nike, Nike just had it. Like, just do it, man. My guys, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 178, NASDAQ off 111, S&P's off 20, gold contract up $5.80, trading at 1833 an ounce. We got silver down 16 cents, 24 dollars 37 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 224, 84 17 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up 16 ticks, trading 131.26. The 30-year up a full point plus 11 ticks at 163.19 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 108 ticks, trading out at 93.940. The euro is at 115. The yen is at 112.84, and the British pound is at 135 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's call, folks. I know what's going on in y'all world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you got a slightly lower market out here. Uh, S&P doesn't have any volume on the way down, man. You're at 40 million shares on the way down, and uh, you're coming into uh, 52 million. So we'll do, we'll do 50 million something. Uh, NDX 100 is different. NDX 100 does have volume on the way down out here today. You got a Expansion of volume, you get 43 million shares right now, probably do about 50. Uh, so we'll see where that shakes out. The bottom line is that when you come off eyes, you have volume, that's saying you can go lower. No two ways about that. Gold, this is going to get early wilded gold, folks. This is what we have. It, you know, earlier in the day, I suspected that gold was actually going to break this 1836 number. And you know what? We still might have a shot at it because just when I came on, they're, they're pushing this market just a bit. And my take right now is that we're actually going to break the 1836 and explode topside. The reason I'm saying that is because what we've had uh, for a long period, well, June of last year, each and every time that we've come up to the 1836, 1839 level, bottom line, monster resistance, failed each and every time. And this particular time, what you have is this. You have two separate things have happened. The retracement off the last surge forward, okay, was a very slight retracement. In fact, if I bring it up here, you're going to see, I believe it's, it's, it's maybe a 0.2823 or something. Well, no, it actually was a 50% retracement off the, off the move. So it was a 50% retracement, um, which, which is a normal retracement. Uh, we get over and we take a look at the good old U.S. dollar. It's going to be about the dollar here. There's no two ways about it. The dollar is at 93.934, and... The number to keep your eye on, and right there isn't much movement in this dollar out here today, but the battle line is at 94, 739, 729. That's the battle line. If, if the dollar comes back inside that, bottom line, they expect you to see some fireworks inside of the gold market. The reason I'm saying that, folks, is this, is that what we had done is this. We broke topside in the dollar. When we broke topside, we broke topside on the 29th of September. Broke topside, good. Then you failed, and we came down, but it was only down for one day. What that is called, that's a, called a false break downtown. And when you do a false break downtown, most of the time what ends up happening is this, is that you go to the moon. Right? If you have a false break downtown, you're going to go up for a long period of time. Now, the dollar didn't do it. The dollar went to its highs and failed. So we'll see how that baby shakes out. So I suspect we're going to go back and try to attack that area. Notes and bonds. This one's really intriguing, folks, okay? The, the note and bond market, they have no doubt caught another bid out here, big bid too. And I suspect what we have, we got 1.4 million contracts traded in the 10 year. If we go take a look at the 30 year, what we have out here in the 30 year is the 30 years up one point plus 11 ticks. And this is, <laughs> this is like almost to the highs of the last six months. Um, and oh, let's just see, oh, this would be cool. Why did, we might have had an ABC up. One second. Hold on. Let me look at this. Okay, so now it's not an ABC up. 
Uh, bottom line, though, it looks like it's going to the top of the range. The top of the range right now is 165. And, um, you know, there's, there's some real action out here. Now, here's, here's the kicker, folks, okay? This is where I think is going on here. <laughs> and this is going to be interesting. You know, if you asked me yesterday um, who the Fed, new Fed chairman was going to be, I would have said Powell. And then what ended up happening is this, is that the, so Biden, inter, and this is after Biden already interviewed both Powell and, um, uh, Late, her, oh, oh my God! Hold it. It's uh, Lyle. Let me get the number. Lyle Brand. There we go. One second. Uh, she's she's a she's a Fed director right now. Let me see this. One second. It's, it's she's. There it is. Okay. It's, it's, so it's Lyle Brand, right? And you know, I was going back and forth saying, okay, I I, I just don't see. Biden replacing Powell. And just because of the fact, thanks, Tom, um, that it, it's a big play. But then all of a sudden I start realizing something like, OK, so what normally happens is this, folks, is that just the interview process alone, they knew, meaning Biden and the administration knew what they were doing, that the interview process, they wanted to see my take, now I'm speculating all of this, my take is that they wanted to see how the market would react. Well, the market didn't do anything. And then when I start thinking about it this morning, I says, hey, you know what, man? What's going on here is that, you know, the bottom line is that Powell's saying lower rates for longer. This woman, okay, no doubt, as Z says, highly trained woman, she has a PhD from Harvard, uh, macroeconomist. Um, she has the credentials and she's dovish. Um, and the market will love it because the market and that's what that's, that's what's going on in that bond market right now the people were on the wrong side of the bond market and they've been trying to basically flatten out or get on the other side for the last week and a half but that those bonds are saying that guess what we're gonna hear the next i bet it's the next week we're gonna hear they're gonna new fed and it's gonna be a chairwoman stay right there folks come right back